It shouldn't take a five-year-old child getting shot for us to come together. No, it shouldn't. Every time someone gets shot, every time someone gets get killed, that we should be bringing our full resources. On Christmas Eve, a five-year-old was injured during a drive-by shooting and a 19-year-old was killed, marking the 31st death of homicide in the city, hitting a new record. The consecutive shootings led community leaders to hold a press conference calling out to the community to stop the violence. 25 News reporter Lee McNeil has more. Over the holiday weekend, KPD responded to three shootings resulting in one fatality and several others injured. Two of the three shootings happening just within a few hours of each other. The KPD Criminal Investigation Unit revealed all the shootings to be connected and gang related. No matter what has happened or what kind of disagreements anybody could have, a five-year-old child being shot, there's, there's no excuse for it. One juvenile and six adults have been located and arrested in connection to the weekend shootings. From the investigation, detectives recovered seven firearms and narcotics in wholesale amounts. Some of the suspects also had outstanding warrants. The Young Paper Chasers and the K-Town Mafia are the two gangs KPD says are involved. Kimball also reports there's a possibility they are responsible for other gun-related incidents across the city. And looking at previous incidents of non-fatal shootings that have happened throughout Colleen over the last few months, and we strongly believe that these, that these two rival gangs are involved in that. We need the citizens in the community to work with us, to be good witnesses, to give us information, to you know, support us, just like we have to do our due diligence and, and treat the citizens with the respect and dignity they deserve. Kimball and Assistant Chief Jeff Donahue say the community's help is always needed, especially because these types of gangs they are dealing with are hybrid gangs, meaning there is no identifiable leader, making the investigations more complex. We can't be everywhere at every time, so we try to use technology to support us, but again, the community, we need to help us by giving us a call. As of right now, there are 28 unsolved homicide cases within the last three years. As you can see, 2020 is far beyond previous years for the number of homicides. Over half of those cases for this year are considered criminal homicides. Chief Kimball says he knows the numbers are high, but believes preventative measures can be taken. They're, they're tragic. I get it. Uh, and sometimes we just can't control human behavior, but we, what we can control are some crime prevention. Chief Kimball says working with local organizations who have daily contact with youth in our community is key to shrinking those homicide case counts and crime prevention. Coming up at 6, I'll have more from community activists and leaders who say it's time to start working and repairing the community instead of just talking about it and complaining. Reporting in Colleen, Leah McNeil, 25 News. Leah, thank you. Chief Kimball also said one of the guns used in the shooting was a stolen gun that was left inside of an owner's vehicle. He urges gun owners to practice safe gun storage and make sure that your vehicles are locked.